Hi everyone, I just heard the word of British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak about sexuality and gender identity and I was shocked about the stupidity and a bunch of bullshit a Prime Minister is able to say in order to get applause, the applause of the crowd watching him and more votes for his next election. Well, he just said that it's common sense saying that a man is a man and a woman is a woman and that nobody should be able to change their own sex, his own or her own sex, in order to be what he or she feels he or she is in reality. If I am born a dysphoric person, according to Mr. Sunak, I'm not able to change. I don't have to be able to, no need to be able to change my sex just because nature gave me a sex, um, sexual gender, and I should stick to it and live with my the sex that natural scene assigned to me even if i'm not dysphoric I, I feel i belong to the opposite sex this is completely insane i'm a free citizen i belong to a free world i live in a democracy uh, you don't uh, you can't Tell me what I have to do with my body if I feel I belong to a sexual gender, to a masculine or feminine gender. A sexual sexuality is not genitals. Sexuality is here, is in my head. I feel I'm a male or I feel I'm female. Just because my mind is male or female. In the majority of people, a masculine mind gets a masculine body and a feminine mind gets a feminine body. It's completely obvious. You don't need to be a prime minister to say that, oh, a male is, has a pen, has got a penis, and it's, and a female has got a vagina. So, oh, it's so simple. This common sense that everybody, these stupid people, these stupid beasts watching him just applaud him and, him and say, oh, he's a great president. He just dared, dared to say that a man is a man and a woman is a woman. He's a great man. This is completely stupid. Nobody says that people nowadays think that um, straight men should become gay or female just because there is a little minority of people who are born dysphoric, gender dysphoric. We should, we should talk to a dysphoric person to understand that he or she doesn't want to change the rule of nature or convince someone to change he or her, his or her sex just because they are dysphoric people in this world. Nature created dysphoric people. I am a gender dysphoric person and I cannot accept a, an idiot prime minister who wants to convince me that I am a wrong person and that I should hide myself because I cannot change my sex. This is completely anti-democratic and a violation of the rights of, human, of a, a human being. I really cannot, I really can't realize that in, in such a 
civilized country as United United Kingdom, there is there are people talking out like that. There is a prime minister thinking that. Mm. This is um, I think that the cause of this insanity uh, should be ignorance. People don't know what a dysphoric person is and think that is just a, a person who wants to change his or her sex because uh, he is completely mad and he or she must be stopped or convinced to live according to the sex he see or he sees, sees between his or her legs. I see I have a penis. I should be a straight male. What I I, if I feel the opposite? Well, I'm wrong because oh, look at the mirror. I have a penis. I'm a male. Um, this is uh, completely wrong as a way of thinking because we delete the ability of men about um, listening to his own or her own reason. If I feel if my mind is settled at the when I was born as a male or female being, I should act and live according to my feelings, to what I am naturally. Nobody should oblige me, force me to be something I'm not. I may have a penis or a vagina, but don't feel a female or, or a male or a female. And this should be accepted by the whole society. Otherwise, we are living in a, di in a dictatorship and we are not free to express our truly self, our, our true self. And this is very, very sad and dangerous. Thank you for listening to me and see you in the next video.